Well, that is close, close. Woo, that is close. He's got one of the most recognizable voices in Laker history. You hear his voice just about every time you turn on a Laker game. That guy is absolutely incredible. That's because sportscaster Stu Lance has been calling Laker games for over 20 years. And on Wednesday, students came out to hear his voice when he made a visit to CSULB. This gentleman you know is Stu Lance. Yeah! In a student forum hosted by journalism professor John Schrader, Lance shared with Laker fans and journalism students some of his favorite experiences working in broadcast. Of those experiences, Lance said working with legendary sportscaster Chick Hearn was the biggest highlight. To this day, Lance carries Hearn's press pass with him at all times. I owe so much to that guy. From playing the game to announcing the game, the former Laker has come a long way. Although never winning a championship on the court, he now has several championship rings, all from serving behind the mic as the Lakers announcer. With basketball season starting, many people were curious to get Lance's opinion on the Lakers' chances this season, as well as his keys to become successful in the broadcast world. Um, with the Lakers reorganizing, getting new personnel, what are you looking forward to seeing this upcoming season? Well, first of all, I'm looking forward to seeing how quickly the newcomers uh, adapt to the system that Mike D'Antoni is trying to implement. Uh, training camp is obviously going to be very important to all of that. As soon as we get everybody on the same page, I think the system will work with the personnel that he has today. And what has been one of the most memorable games that you've called. I mean, the Lakers have had a lot of different awesome moments, like Fisher's .4 yeah. shot. Yeah. And what has been one of the biggest or most fun games or memorable games, in your opinion? Well, you mentioned uh, Derek's .4 shot against the Spurs. Uh, I probably was a little negligent in mentioning Kobe's video game when he scored 81 points uh, at the Staples Center against Toronto. Uh, that, that one was quite memorable because that one is uh, already in the basketball hall of fame because it's second highest scoring game in the history of the league so those two stand out pretty pretty important but because the Lakers have had so much success there are so many games that you can look back on and say that one was special or that one was special but I'll leave it at that to those two and let you decide the next two. <laughs> And uh, for us breaking into this business of broadcast, what are, what, in your opinion, have been the keys to success, and or what can you say are the keys to success, in your opinion, to break no, into this business? Keys to success are probably uh, termed hard work. I mean, nothing comes easy. You have to put forth the effort in order to see the reap the benefits of what you want. So anybody that wants to get into not only broadcasting but any kind of business or venture, you have to be willing to work. If you're not willing to put in the time, don't expect the, the results that you want. You can catch the voice of Stu Lance at the first preseason game this Saturday against Golden State. At the USU, Taylor Bell, Daily 49er TV.